I thought things were going to change. I thought they would be different this time. And maybe truth would become more important than the less than half a smile red letter lie that you always tell with such eloquence. There you are. Gone again. I guess I was wrong. Again. Things aren't important to you anymore. Your smile is lighting up the sky like grasshopper wings dipped in starlight. Your eyes are like hellfire existing inside a human being that knows he is for this world. But presses forward anyway. The cold ice emanating from your veins. Because you saw the core of the world and couldn't get warm again. You saw the violence, the war, the pain, the sadness, everything taken away from you all at once. You never recovered. So neither did I. They say bitterness, or whatever you have, is kind of contagious. You let it bleed blackish, brackish goo on everything you touch. But you never mean to. I never meant to. I wish I could tell you. The stars aren't too high to reach, boy. All you have to do is jump. I can't. You have plugged your ears and stare down at the cracks in the sidewalk as you stare. You remember everything you're not instead of who you are. I could go on and on about political street signs and war bought tombstones, but you know as well as I do that the only emotional pointed words are those stem from the heart and not the mind. Pointless words aren't formed from agony. These can be. I sighed while writing about the nature of your heart, and I'm not sure I could ever make you right. You pretend through natural selection that you're the Darwinian fit. You know as well as I do that the tar on your wings isn't starshine, it's deadly poison, and you're going down with the ship you carried with you. You sowed, and now you're reaping the existential crop. It's dead and diseased, and it's because you neglected to remind it that it, too, was beautiful and special. You forgot to remind yourself, too. Care I to remind you that all who dwell here are monsters? Pretenders who lied about pretending and who gave everything away because they didn't want to live like you and I. These men are deceivers. They, and they lie in half-truth syllables. You're one of those men who just tried and couldn't quite get it right. And so you quit. You don't belong here. I'm not working on writing a speech for the ages. No one will remember my face when I'm gone except you. You'll remember me with every breath you had left because I once told you that there was no one in your life and in the world who would even attempt to love you the way I always had I was right and I know you know it the only woman for you is me and now it's still all over and you aren't even attempting to pull the handle of the slot machine and make a bet that it could have lasted you'd rather ignore your petty, intrinsic emotions that are laid out in synapses inside your brain? Can you feel them racing like your pulse when you thought of t me touching you? I could do CPR on your heart, but it failed on purpose because you injected a false reality inside to cost yourself everything. You did it because you couldn't take the thought of me leaving you behind in the darkness. Because you let go, you forced my hand. You can deny I exist, but you cannot deny that I existed in the first place.